Hi everyone! In this video we are going to teach you how to make a rainstorm using your hands. And I learned this one when I was a kid and I loved to do it. And just a note that this is really something you would do with a big group of people. Um, so it's not going to sound <laughs> exactly like a rainstorm when just two of us are doing it. But we wanted to show you how um, how the steps go and then how you can actually teach kids to do it. So it will work great with um, school age kids or for a weather story time or even in the fall or winter when you get a lot of rain. So we're going to start and the thing um, to note is that the first person to start it, um, they'll start doing the motions and then the second person starts and there's a bit of a staggering effect between the transitions uh, from the from the different parts of the rainstorm. So. Um, we'll explain it more after the video. Okay. And but I'm going to try and be the delayed step. So you'll see yes. me starting a little bit after Lindsay. Yes. And there's probably lots of different ways to do the rainstorm. This is just the way I learned. Okay. So if you're doing it with a group, um, it's great if you can have them in a circle and then you can kind of go around and show the kids what they're supposed to be doing so they don't start moving to the next part of the rainstorm until you get to them and show them the next part to do. So throughout the rainstorm you have kind of a mixture of sounds leading up from a drizzle to the thunder and then back down to the drizzling. Um, and we can put a link down below to a choir that did an amazing version <laughs> of it if you want to see how it can look um, done professionally. <laughs> 